take two. <laughs> um, I just went through this whole spiel. Um, but essentially, um, we just got back from fishing today, or I got back from fishing. I don't know why I'm always saying we, but uh, I just got back, had a, a pretty good day today. Um, and essentially what I wanted to cover uh, before we get into the video is why I hadn't posted in a while. And that reason is primarily due to me getting COVID back in August, uh, right after I posted the first uh, summer video. Um, I got COVID and I was down for about four weeks with bilateral pneumonia. And uh, when I got back to work, um, it, well, I wasn't, it wasn't but a few weeks, I think, from after returning to work and then my company uh, that I was working for, company of 11 years, started uh, pushing the vaccine mandate. And um, I don't want to go into great depth about it or anything, but I will say that I am a pro-choice human being, just like I think um, most people should be. Um, and that, you know, that doesn't mean I necessarily agree or disagree with anybody's decisions in this life. It's just not my decision to make. So um, for me, it was a no-go. I'm not uh, taking a vaccination uh, against my will. Um, plus, you know, now I have antibodies for it. So uh, it was a rough deal. Uh, don't don't let anybody fool you um, <clears throat> about what this thing is or that it doesn't exist or any of that nonsense that people are talking about is definitely real um, but you have to weigh your op you know your your risks personally um, so right after that um, we had made the decision that I was as a family was no longer going to work for the, the waterworks in Columbus Georgia and um, so I'd already started looking for a job and I posted on ZipRecruiter and the first day a guy reaches out to me, um, which is a company I'm working for now. Um, There's a company out of Fairhope, Alabama called SE Civil Engineering. And I went down and I had a conversation with uh, the owners and uh, it felt like a really good place to work, it felt like a good fit. And uh, that I took about a week to make a decision and um, ended up deciding to, to take the job. And right after that, the vaccine mandate, of course, fell through in the state of Georgia. And um, I still was going to stick to my guns because I, I do feel like if it if they ever came out again, they would do the same thing again. They would force everybody to do it. So um, I don't really care to work for somebody like that. So I moved. Uh, and now we're down here, as you can see. We're at the campground um, because we're still trying to sell our house. Um, we just got it on the market at the beginning of this week. And uh, we own this, so it's not really a big deal. Um, it's really cheap to live here. But uh, after I moved down here, my first week of work, uh, my little brother passed away. And... Uh, So uh, the last six months has been a really, um, really a roller coaster of emotion um, in my life in general. So I know I don't have a ton of subscribers. I just got a little over 200 now, but uh, I'm I'm really just documenting my journey in life and uh, what things I love to do. And if uh, people enjoy those things, that's great. Yeah, uh, they can like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if not, you know it is what it is. But uh, I'm doing I'm down here now. Um, I got a job that I really like and uh, I'm doing what I love to do I love fishing so uh, I'm gonna continue to roll out videos um, it's been a challenge because I've never fished down here during this time of year this is only my second time fishing down here uh, since I've been here and I'm so I've been down here since the end of December um, I fished once in January unsuccessfully and uh, this was my second trip so um, we're gonna have a lot more content coming to the channel um, I'll be down here you know indefinitely now that I have a job down here and ultimately um, you know I love it down here uh, I fished down here many many seasons you know we vacationed down here we, we like this area and it was really just a blessing um, for that job to come available like it did um, 
I didn't actively seek uh, that job specifically, um, but it just, you know, it was the right time type thing. You know, I, I'm a big believer in, you know, things happening for a reason. Um, I don't really believe in coincidence all that much, but anyway, not to get too much into this, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video today. Uh, I know this intro has been like five minutes or something like that, but um, we got on a couple fish and my first sheep's head. Super excited about it. It was a stud for me anyway. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, enjoy the video. Appreciate you guys coming back to the channel and I hope you have a great 2022. All right, guys, I just hooked up something good on this setup. Sucker got me wrapped around this daggum pier. Oh, it's a good sheep. It's a really good sheep's head. I mean, a good one, guys. It's a good one. It's, obviously, it's the biggest one I've ever caught. I've never caught a sheep's head personally, but this is a good one. Like a real good one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't even have my net. Oh my goodness, what a fish. What a fish. Oh my goodness. My word. Holy crap. What a stud. What an absolute stud, folks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm shaking. That is such a great fish. For my first sheep's head, that is such a great fish. I'm, sh I'm literally shaking, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. First crab I dropped down, I found some deeper water. Um, everything's super shallow out here today. And, um, Essentially, this is the first piece of water I found that was more than a foot deep near a dock. And uh, first crab, first fiddler dropped down. And this stud bites. My word. Let's, uh, let's get the board on it and see what he is. My first ever sheep's head. <clears throat> So he looks like about 21 inches uh, to his fork of his tail, 22 and a half to the end of his tail. That is an absolute stud muffin, my word. Okay, let's get this joker taken care of. I mean, I wish I would have been recording when it bit. I literally threw it in there. And I mean, it was, as soon as it hit the bottom, I felt boom, boom, boom. And they wasn't kidding about these sheep's head, um, but they're really light hits. I mean, it was light, it was like a brim or something. Not quite, I mean, it was a little bit more of a thump than a brim, obviously, but um, incredible bend on this rod. I mean, this is, up. Oh. there we go, got another one. Yeah, oh yeah, it's another good one. Man, there's some good fish in here. I think they're all isolated in this little deep section right here. This one's not as nearly as good as the other one, um, but this one is gonna be a keeper. I feel pretty certain on that. Yeah, it's definitely a keeper. All right, bud, come on. Yeah, now that's what I was expecting to catch, something more along that size. You got it right in the side of the cheek here. Let's see. It's still a good fish though. Uh, let's get a measure on this guy. 
make sure he's a legal fish before I get too excited and try to start dispatching him. All right, he is 15 to the fork. That'll keep beautiful fish. Uh, that's two in 10 minutes. I, I honestly, I don't think many more of these will fit in the cooler. That other one almost filled my cooler up. So, uh, let me take care of this guy and then we'll get back after it. But buddy, this line is eat slam up. Good thing I put the 30 pound on there instead of like the 20 pound test. Anyway, we'll be right back with you guys. Good morning, everybody. We are back at it again today. Beautiful day out here, flat, calm. Hopefully that's going to be a great condition to catch some target species today uh, today we're going after some uh, sheep's head and uh, we're gonna try to target some redfish as well if we can get into them um, we'll see but uh the last time we came here we did get into some fish uh, so I'm gonna see if these jokers are still hanging around or not and uh, we should have an answer here pretty soon as to whether or not the bite's still live or not. I don't know what it was last time. Unfortunately, I got here late to this spot. I fooled around, if you watched the previous video, mm -hmm. I fooled around and uh, was in some really shallow water. Uh, couldn't find the deeper water until about after 10. But when I did, I found the fish. So we're gonna kind of do something similar again today and uh, hopefully we can get after them. So stay tuned. Switched tactics and went back to the to the fiddlers. And uh, I put a couple crabs on that piling right there. We've got this stud on the line here. It's a good fish. It's definitely a keeper. It did not get me into the piling. Feel really good about that one. Yeah, buddy. Had that drag locked down, so it didn't go very far. It didn't get me into the piling. You got to worry about my dead gum line being all jacked up. But uh, like I said, I forgot my measuring board. But I wear a size 12. This fish is probably in the neighborhood of. Maybe 16 to the fork. It's a good fish. So there's a size 12 right there. You can see. It's a good fish. It's definitely a keeper. If it were even close today, I wouldn't even attempt to keep it. But, uh, that's definitely a, a keeper fish. So we're going to dispatch this thing. I'm going to go back Man. after it. Oh, I dropped one back down. I mean, immediately. And it got smoked. And uh, it just came off. Good lord, that's a good one. Oh, it's around the pile. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This line's gonna be jacked up now though. These are some cookie cutters though, honestly. I mean, it's about the same size as the last one. It just fought like crazy amazing these fish are so much fun crap run the anchor line there we go 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's another good fish. Um, got me into the pile on that time though. It looks like we got enough on there for another one at least though. Didn't get much of it. When I was fishing last week, I had one, it, it got way behind the pile and it, it pretty much stripped my entire line. There he is, Mr. Flatty. I wanted to see if I could do this today. Looky, looky what we got. I need to uh, look at my phone real quick and see what's the limit on the flounder. What's the size limit, because I have no idea. Fourteen inches. Bag limit of what five it says. Okay. I think this fella's gonna be a little short, but we'll measure him anyway and see what we got. I knew those son of a gun to be over here. Don't move, bro. All right, got him. Now, I don't think this thing is set up to uh, allow us to reach the back here. I'm gonna have to disconnect this bad boy. Yep. All right. Let's see what he goes for. You know, he keeps. He's close, but looks like he keeps. Yeah, he keeps. How about that? All right. All right. Let's see if we can get another one. That is for sure a subtle bite. I mean, it was just like I had something on the end. It wasn't even. That was wild. That's my first flounder, guys. Um, pretty excited about that. We're uh, using the Procure uh, Flounder Pounder. And uh, we're using the... I can't remember it. Uh, it's not that one. Yeah. It's the uh, Z-Man Paddler Z four inch on a shaky head jig if I've seen people catch them on that stuff and that's why I bought it and I tell you what that was the second cast up in here in these docks right here Yes, sir. 
A little better. That's a heavier fish right there. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry about the L. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Another little flatty. Nice size little joker. He hammered it. This time it was a much better hit. Let's see. Let's see what this guy goes for. I tell you, if you listen to people, it's amazing. Amazing accurate people are oh yeah cookie cutter another 14 incher we are on the board today now I did make a remark that uh, we couldn't fit very many <coughs> sheep's head and redfish in here. However, them flat boys fit in the cooler just fine. So, if you guys want to see this, it's just a green eye, shaky head with a four inch Z Man. And all I'm doing, I'm taking a little flounder pounder procure. I just stick some in the belly. Let me set my hook again. So the way I rig it, I kind of tuck that hook into the belly just a little bit. This this stuff has got really good elasticity, so it doesn't really tear up that easy. So I just go in there with the belly and just fill her up. 